I think I was a pretty bad kid uh, from what I've been told. I can't remember everything, but I think that you couldn't really tell me anything. My father always had a saying, you can always tell a harper, but you can't tell him much. I was born in Iowa City and grew up in Iowa for a number of years until my parents split. I would either spend half the summer or the whole summer with one of my grandparents. My grandfather, Harold Hill, in Seneca, South Carolina, he had a small pharmacy. During Jim Crow segregation, black folks couldn't go to the Rexall or Walgreens, and, and so he, he had a pharmacy called Piedmont Pharmacy that served uh, black folks from, from miles around. And, and I would spend my summers there in his pharmacy reading comic books and having popsicles and watching him uh, give out prescription medication to folks who couldn't afford it. Uh, people would bring in chickens or potatoes and all sorts of things, and he would give them their medication. and, and, uh, and seeing him give back, serve, and that's the way I've attempted to live my life. My goal was to be a professional football player. That's what I wanted to do, right? And um, I got to Brown University. I ended up meeting so many people that were interested in art and politics, and I was wide open. And suddenly, this guy that just loved sports became fanatical about all these other things. A wonderful professor who has passed away now, he pulled me to the side one day and he, he said, um, listen, I think you're the most brilliant student I've ever had in my class, but you're underperforming. You're taking whatever place or whatever expectations people have of you as a black male for granted. Do you want to live a life where you just skate by? Or do you want to live a life of impact and legacy. I made a, a drastic shift. I decided that um, excellence in whatever I did was going to be uh, my calling card. Theater Arts 21, I took the class thinking not much of it, certainly not thinking I was going to make a career out of what I was going to learn, but I went in there and I loved it. I loved it. I loved the class. I loved acting. I enjoyed the people, not to mention the cutest girls on campus were in the acting class. So that incentivized me to go back even more. And I wasn't thinking much about it in terms of, well, how does this fit and what is this, how does this work? Just, you know what, I'm going to follow my heart. And that's how it happened. People who watch uh, CSI New York or Covert Affairs, they say, wow, I just get lost in the story. I love watching it and I, and I love the journey and, and it's been very rewarding for me. My foundation, the Manifest Your Destiny Foundation, works with uh, at-risk youth and, and traditionally underserved youth, and we have a crisis among our young people. So I was recently in Baltimore City giving a talk, and the graduation rate of African-American males in Baltimore City public school system is 27%. So the question is, what do we do? When I went to Harvard Law School, and it was probably the third day of class that uh, Barack Obama and I met and became friends and you know and I, I looked up to him a lot not just because he's taller than me I looked up to him because uh, he had built a foundation for himself educationally that allowed him to build a life and to the extent that we undereducate our young people yet we say oh you know come on do something but we're not educating them we aren't providing a foundation for them to build a life. We're providing a foundation to build another life, an, an alternate life, which is this mass incarceration life. We have to deal with the education of our young people in urban environments especially. Services should be just a natural piece of who we are, not a special piece, meaning what's the point of having any resource at all if you don't use it to try to help somebody else? I would love for someone to, to say that he's made a positive impact on the world and the impact he has made will last beyond his years of physically being here. And if that simple statement can be made, then I really feel like I've, I've lived uh, a, a pretty great life.